Welcome back to Lesson 21, Image to Animate, Part 2, Head Creation. Hey everybody, check me out. I'm a full action figure, can do all my movements, and I was made from a flat image. All right, we'll go ahead and start by creating a head, create a morph base head. So say yes if you'd like to save a face file, otherwise just say no if it's the first time, and then say yes that you would like to replace this current head. Okay, and then you'll be able to enter in the image file, and you'll want to go ahead and size it up a little bit. You've got the sizing tools up on the top, zoom in, zoom out. So we'll go ahead and grab the crop tool here and frame his face. And then when you're happy with that, just apply the changes. Okay, and we can just go ahead and proceed on to next. Here you'll just uh, loosely adjust these number one through four where it shows in the diagram. And then here you'll just go ahead and start playing with these uh, settings until you frame the face. And you'll get better at doing this as you experiment with it. You're basically uh, telling Cartoon Animator where the eyes and everything are located so it can start to calibrate the movements better. And you'll just keep uh, testing this until you until you line everything up and then you can check your work and we'll do that and then the, basically the process is to after you do this one you'll move to the the next red highlighted item up on the face fitting editor which will be the more advanced points And this is where you can uh, up, down, left, right. check and the features as you go. Down, left, right. so we'll just keep moving on here. Now we'll come back later and I'll do that more advanced wireframe. There's really no particular order that you have to do. You just basically go down the list and and set up all of these to kind of tell Cartoon Animator where things are. Really doesn't take very long there. We've already done the beginning framing and we'll go ahead and set the head on and size it. Okay, so now we've selected the root hip picture again, and now it's time to mask the head off. And I'm here I'm looking for any little fragments that maybe didn't get erased in the masking, so I'm kind of going over that really quick on the arm because I saw a couple little highlights that kind of showed through the mask. So now the goal here is to mask this off and end up, all we're ending up with is the, uh, the hip sprite. And we're going to put a post here. So we're 
cutting off a little more than we need just like all the other areas and then we'll reverse the tool and we'll start creating a post for the neck. Now the shading on his neck was pretty serious and so I went in and masked off his face pretty good so that the shading would kind of disappear. And so really heavy shading like that right at the neckline doesn't, doesn't necessarily help. Okay, now keep in mind that the post that goes up behind his face isn't actually going to be seen. Cartoon animator will know that. But you can see that one pivot point there. We're still going to try to achieve a round pivot point right now. So I've shaped my tool as good as I can to try to get that nice round, round shape I'm looking for. If I don't like something, I'll go back and I'll give myself a little more working room and, and then I'll go for that final clip like I'm going to do here. All right, there we go with that. So now we can just close the mask editor. And you'll see that little tiny hip picture over to the right doesn't have a head anymore. We've now created the new head. So there won't be a duplicate head behind the picture. And there you can see, still needs a little work to round the head itself so that it doesn't have the squared off edges in order for it, the rotation of it to look good. Okay, so back to the mask editor with the head. There you can see the shadowing is pretty heavy there. Um, as an artist, you would probably not create such a heavy shadow in your picture uh, right at the fitting point. Or you could work with the shadowing in order to make it actually be on purpose, which would be fine. And then my option is to lower the head um, and also to go in and trim, mask off uh, some more of the neck. So I'm also just doing a little fine tune on the pivot point of the neck. Uh, Feel free to go back at any time and, and adjust any bone um, that wasn't quite set in the right place. Holding down the E key. I'm in the bone editor. Just hold down the E key and drag. So I'm just going to give a little bit of a lower point here because of that shadowing. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that head down just a smidge here and then we'll work on cleaning up the neck in a bit go ahead back into the face fitting editor and we'll just fine tune the face setting a little bit and then we'll start doing the uh, advanced one as well. So this is just kind of fine-tuning. I'll go ahead and kind of speed this up a little bit. A E I O U. So we'll head into content here in the head tools and these are the parts that you can put. So these are called the morph eye. And you can put in different eye sets if you if you like. 
and we're just going to go ahead and stick with this character's eyes. So we're going into the advanced mask now. It's just the next one over from the one we were just working on. And you just further, you now you have more points and they're more accurate based off of your first selections and you just keep working through this. That's pretty self-explanatory. Now you have top and bottom lip options and just kind of get in more fine-tuned. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and save him at this point. Yeah, we still need to work more on the head. All right, so we're at the face mask editor now, and we're just going to go ahead and shave off that really strong shadow that was there. And just save him again. Okay, that was pretty easy. Root hips looking good. And you can see there's those default groups there that don't have any pictures in them yet. They're just grayed out pictures. And those are the presets by Cartoon Animator. Okay, and this is just saying you got to go to Content Manager, Head, and Morph Head. I'm sorry, Morph Mouth in order to uh, put in the mouth settings first before moving I forward with that part. So we'll come back. And blinking. Eyes closing. And blinking. Uh, just a little more work here, fine-tuning now. It's, with more points, you can get a lot more accurate. You just keep teaching Cartoon Animator the shape of your character's face. Okay, now we're going into those mouth settings here. You can have teeth or no teeth by toggling that switch. And then when you click on those other three settings, you're able to adjust the saturation and hue and that of, say, the throat and everything. So we'll do that too a in a minute. E I this is what it looks like when he's talking with teeth. Okay, so you can select any one of these three, and then down below you have the color settings that you can drag. So these are just to adjust the different parts of the mouth. Um, but basically it's teeth or no teeth and force closed if you want to force that mouth closed. And I haven't experimented with all of these, so um, but this is this is how you come in and set up. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a smile corner to both sides of his mouth so he'll always kind of have that in his face. And so with the throat, I'm just going to make it look a little more uh, cartoony instead of so real. And same with the teeth. Just just tone them down a bit so they don't look so so real, more cartoony, more drawn. And, um, and this is a real close-up view, so. And this is, of course, an option that you'll have on your character, whether you want to have teeth or not. It looks great both ways. Um, I just decided to go with teeth here.
A E I Smile Angry Sad Happy Surprised And Scared Smile Angry Rolling. Hey everybody, check me out. I'm a full action figure, can do all my movements, and I was made from a flat image. Thanks for watching everybody. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. We also love your comments, so leave those too. We'll see you next time.